Candidates for Wisconsin's 7th Congressional District are working overtime to win over voters before Election Day. Good evening, I'm Eric Marotak. And I'm Melissa Langman. To find out where they stand on the issues that matter to you, we are joined now by News 9's Nick Robinson. He is live in the newsroom with their plans. Eric, Melissa, Election Day is just two weeks away, and voters in the 7th District will choose to send either incumbent Tom Tiffany or challenger Kyle Kilborn to the House of Representatives. Tiffany has held the seat since winning a special election in May of 2020. He's running for a third full term and says that inflation and immigration are some of the top concerns of voters in the district. To get control of inflation, the most important thing we can do is get back to affordable energy. Secure the border. Restart remain in Mexico. Resume construction of the border wall. Stop this catch and release and get the Border Patrol the funding they need. His opponent, product designer and former professor Kyle Kilborn, says he's running to make sure that the environment and social security are protected. One of the issues is around climate change and the environment. How are we taking advantage of all the new technologies? This district is 30% over 65, and so making sure that social security benefits are strengthened um, and not cut. Something both men agreed was an issue was the cost of living, but they had differing opinions on how to fix it. Tiffany says one way it can be solved is with less government regulation. Because we've seen what happens when we have more spending out in Washington, D.C., we have more permitting, more regulation, and that leads to stagnation here in America. And Kilbourne emphasized investing in renewable energy and the district's natural resources. This district is great at manufacturing things. We have a lot of history with uh, forestry products and outdoor work. And so how do we take advantage of that and making sure that we're bringing those technologies, those investments into the district. But despite how divisive politics have become, Tiffany and Kilborn both said that no matter who controls Congress after this election, they will be willing to work across the aisle. 